For the next few minutes, we will look at some parameters of transmitted radio signals, as well as an important measure of performance for a digital radio link. First, we'll consider the concept of the radio spectrum. The radio frequency, or RF spectrum, is a range of frequencies that are used for communication purposes. AM and FM broadcasts, Wi-Fi, cellular phones and base stations, and many other services and devices use bands of frequencies within the RF spectrum. Now we will look at part of the USFM radio broadcast band, as seen using tools from the GNU Radio open source software. The upper plot, with power on the vertical axis and frequency on the horizontal axis, is similar to what you might see using a spectrum analyzer. The blue trace is an instantaneous view or snapshot of the spectrum and is updated frequently. It shows variation due to noise between signals of broadcast stations. The green trace is obtained using the max hold feature which displays the highest recorded amplitude at each frequency. The lower plot is referred to as a waterfall plot because the display scrolls down the window over time, similar to falling water. This view of the spectrum uses a color code to represent signal power or intensity. Note that each radio station is allocated a bandwidth or a range of frequencies that its signal can occupy. In this view we see some strong signals and some weaker signals in between them. The weaker signals are, are from radio stations that are more distant, transmit with lower power, or whose signals are obstructed by terrain or buildings between the transmitter and the receiver. In radio communications, electrical energy is transmitted from an electrical source, the radio transmitter, to an electrical load, the receiver. However, the power level is typically very weak by the time it reaches the receiver. Many factors affect received power, and some of them are listed here. The Frisch transmission equation describes the relationship between received power and transmitted power in free space, that is, in the absence of any obstructions. In this case, the total amount of power does not diminish with distance as the transmitted signal spreads out in space, traveling away from the transmitter in all directions at the speed of light. However, the amount of this power that can be captured by a receiving antenna decreases with distance, since the same amount of power is distributed over a larger and larger spherical surface as the distance from the transmitter increases. This relationship is accurate for space communications, but communication on the Earth or through the atmosphere typically involves a greater attenuation or weakening of the signal power due to some of the factors mentioned above. The radio spectrum is used for many purposes, as mentioned earlier, but because of physical and technological limitations, the usable range of radio frequencies is limited. Also, if two signals overlap in frequency, they will interfere with each other, and this interference degrades performance of communication systems. To minimize interference, government agencies regulate use of the radio spectrum and assign frequencies to particular types of service and specific users. In most cases, this frequency allocation varies by location, since because of transmission losses or attenuation over distance, Radios that are far enough apart will not receive each other's signals at a very high level. Here is one view of frequency use in the United States. It appears that all potentially usable frequencies are allocated. This presents a problem because demand for the radio spectrum is growing exponentially at an ever-quickening pace as new services are introduced and as more wireless devices are produced and used. We will explore this problem and potential solutions in other tutorials. What is throughput? Even if you haven't covered this concept in your studies, you might already be familiar with the term, and even if you are not, it is likely that you have noticed variations in throughput. For digital services, including video streaming and file transfer, throughput is an important measure or metric of radio performance. Throughput is the rate at which data are transmitted and received. It is measured in bits per second, or BPS. Throughput is related to physical bandwidth and is sometimes referred to as bandwidth, although signal bandwidth is actually one of many factors that affect throughput. To summarize, we have discussed the radio frequency or RF spectrum. Physics and technology limit our ability to use very low and very high frequencies, so the RF spectrum is a limited resource. We also looked at a spectrum plot of signals in which we could see the signal's frequencies and bandwidth of individual signals. 
we considered transmitted and received power and the relationship between them. While we viewed an equation that shows this relationship for free space conditions, many other mathematical models and computational techniques are used to predict received power in non-free space radio channels. In addition, we saw how the finite and valuable RF spectrum is allocated, and mentioned that with growing demand it may be necessary to find more efficient ways to allocate and use the spectrum. Finally, we considered throughput, a measure of a communication link's effective data rate that is expressed in bits per second, or BPS.